Welcome to Shopee TV. Well, hello. Welcome back to Chapel. We today we're going to make some love cookies, and you know, uh, Chappy love cookies. Chappy is not really a baker. Don't mind cooking other meals. Not really into baking, mostly because it's so messy afterwards, and I don't like the cleaning up. But we're going to give it a go today anyway. So we're making condensed milk cookies today. So in my recipe, I need 500 grams of margarine, which I've got here. I need a quarter of a cup of caster sugar. Now, you know, things are a bit difficult to get with the COVID, so I don't have caster sugar, so we're going with normal sugar. So they might be a bit gritty. Um, and I need flour, two and a half cups of flour. Now, I also couldn't find a strainer, so we're just, uh, find a sifter, so we're just gonna go with the strainer and see how that works. So, uh, whoever gets some of these love cookies afterwards is gonna be pretty excited about the quality. All right, here we go. Oh, that's working all right. Better than I anticipated. Okay. And another half a cup of flour, just to add in there. Oh, this is a great project you can do while you're in quarantine. Bake your family, bake your neighbors some cookies. All right, so now we've got to mix this up with the beat up. Here we go. Safety first, make sure your beat is turned off before you turn the power on. Okay, here we go now. This is really important thing to remember. Oh, look out. Now look, I did actually, whew, it's a bit dusty in here. I did soften the butter, but um, maybe not enough, but we'll keep at it and see what happens. Do you know what I've just realized? Actually supposed to add the condensed milk in. That's why it's so fluffy. All right, I think you're supposed to put the flour in last, but we'll just go with the condensed milk and see what happens now, hey? This is great. That might work, oops. That might work a little bit better. This is why I don't bake at home. Very messy. Not just washing up, got to wash the floor, got to do lots of things when I bake at home. It's really important to follow your recipe correctly, otherwise things may not turn out the way that you expected. Okay, let's have another go at mixing that up, see what happens. Oh, that's looking better. That's much better. All right, these cookies are definitely made with love today. That's looking heaps better. All right. Now I've got to add some, I'm going to add some chocolate in. We're going to turn these into chocolate chip cookies. So we just add those in, give them a bit of a mix through like that. These are looking great. Now we've got a tray over here. I'm going to put a little bit of, um, we can try and make these in the shape of a love heart. Don't know how that's going to go, but let's have a go. So, put a little bit on here, about that much. And I've got my little love heart cookie cutter. We'll put that on there. Oh look, this isn't working out how I anticipated. You know, you follow the recipe, doesn't work out. This is why I don't like to bake, but that's okay. 
We'll keep trying. We'll put a few more on here. We'll put them in the oven, see how they turn out for later. So this is some really nice projects you could think about doing for people. Um, maybe do some cooking, maybe cook a meal, doesn't have to be cookies. All right, there we go. I'm gonna put those in the oven. Actually, I think we have to squish them down a little bit. Put those in the oven, see how they turn out. There we go. I'm gonna pop those in the oven for later. See what comes out the other end. So today we're trying to make the love cookies. They're in the oven, so I'm pretty excited to see how they come out. The shaping didn't quite work. Chappie got the recipe a bit mixed up. So who knows what it'll look like. Apparently if you cook with love, it tastes better. So they're probably gonna be fantastic, but we'll soon find out. Do you know in 1 Corinthians in the Bible, it talks about love. Paul talks about that if we talk about loving people and talk about love and we're super spiritual about it, but we don't actually put it into action, we're like a clashing symbol. And do you know, this is pretty annoying noise, right? So, you know, I figure that if we go around and we don't have integrity and we don't have actions with our words and we don't actually love people in action, that this is what it sounds like. Sounds like that to other people. It's just empty words. And so just like we followed a recipe today about how to get those cookies right, well, we sort of followed the recipe, tried to. In Corinthians, in this passage, it's a recipe for how we love one another for how God says that he loves us and how we should love others. And so that kind of love is called agape love. And it's an unconditional love. It's a divine love. It's a love that doesn't give up. It's a love that comes from God and it gives and gives. It's a decision, it's an action love. I'm gonna to read to you from the Passion Translation about how it describes this love. Love is large and incredibly patient. Love is gentle and consistently kind to all. It refuses to be jealous when blessing comes to someone else. Love does not brag about one's achievements nor inflate its own importance. Love does not traffic in shame and disrespect, nor selfishly seek its own honour. Love is not easily irritated or quick to take offence. Love joyfully celebrates honesty and finds no delight in what is wrong. Love is a safe place of shelter for it never stops believing the best for others. Love never takes failure as defeat for it never gives up. So this is like our recipe for love. We've followed that recipe for the cookies. This is what love looks like. And you know, I don't wanna be one of those people that just says all of the words but doesn't love in action. And so when you go to do baking, you know, before we started filming today, I came along, I was like, right, I've got the sugar, I've got the flour, I've got my measuring cups, I've got the butter. I checked that I had all the ingredients and everything that I needed to get this right. And do you know, it's like that within ourselves. The Bible says to examine your heart. It says to allow God to do that, to talk to him about that, about what's in your heart. And this is like a recipe, like a checklist for us. How are we going with loving others? Are we being patient? Are we being gentle? Are we being kind? Are those things happening? Or are you just saying, I love you and thinking about yourself above everybody else? It's a bit like looking in a mirror when we say examine your heart. And so we need to come before God and say, hey God, can you show me if I'm missing anything out of my recipe here? Can you show me what it is to love somebody in action? And ask God to show you those areas that you need to work on and that you need to allow him and the Holy Spirit to work through you so that we can be loving the way that it talks about in 1 Corinthians because it's so important to not just be a loud banging sound, to not just be empty words. We wanna be people that walk with integrity and walk with purpose. 
people who are thinking about others before ourselves, you know, that we are kind and we are patient. And at this time when we're in isolation and we're spending probably more time with family and at home than what we usually do, you know, you love your family, but let's face it, sometimes they're annoying, right? Sometimes there's people in your house that you don't get on with. They're your family, but you'd rather not spend that much time with them. Well, at the moment, you don't really have a choice. And so where you would usually get a bit more of your own space, you're not having that as much. And so some of these things, you might be realizing, I'm not as patient as I thought. I'm actually a little bit selfish. I'm not thinking about what somebody else needs in this situation. I'm only focused on what I want and what I need. And you might be saying, yeah, I love you, but no, I'm not gonna clean that up for you because I can't be bothered. That's a little bit selfish. And that's what this passage talks about, that our love shouldn't be like that. And so these are areas that you might be becoming more aware of at the moment because of the situation that they're in. So remember, don't disregard that. Use it as a time where you can reflect and where you can go to God and say, okay, I've realized I am being a little bit selfish. Can you help me with that? You know, ask God for forgiveness. Ask the person that you might have offended or not treated well or not loved the way you should have for forgiveness. And then work with God towards loving the way that he asks us to, loving the way that he loves us. You know, he does not give up on us. He never gives up on us. He doesn't, um, you know, this says he doesn't keep a record of our wrongs. God doesn't do that with us. You know, sometimes... I enjoy bringing up things, you know, like I've, my son's at home. Sometimes I'm like, yeah, well, that's not, you remember how you did that last week? We like to remind each other of the things that we did that weren't okay. God doesn't do that. You know, the Bible says if we ask him for forgiveness, he forgives us and he forgets our sin. And so when we walk in repentance with God in that way, he doesn't remember our sin anymore. So let's be like that. Let's not be people that bring things up and throw it back in each other's faces. Let's be people that love and don't keep a record of wrongs. Let's be kind and be thoughtful um, and love the way that God has asked us. So I just want to encourage you to take some time out this week to think about that, to have a read of that passage in 1 Corinthians 13 and use it like a bit of a checklist. How am I going with that? How am I going loving others like that so that you're not just words that you actually have love in action and you're loving the way that God has asked us to as Christians as people who love him and he loves us and so take that time this week to talk to him about that hope you have a blessed week I'm going to pray for you today let's just do that now Father God thank you thank you that you do love us thank you that your love is a divine love and um, you've given us some instructions on what our love for others should look like. I pray, Father, that you'll help us to really be aware of how we're treating other people, be aware of how we're loving others. And if there's things that we need to talk to you about or to fix with other people, that you'll help us to be humble to do that and um, just to love in action. And so we ask for your blessing over the rest of this week and we thank you that you love us so very much. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, here we are, just about to get the cookies out of the oven. Let's see what we've done. Here's some that we prepared earlier. <laughs> this is the kind of baking Chappie usually does. Just kidding though, the real ones are on the other side. So we'll just pop over here. All right, here we go, the big unveiling. Here's the real cookies, not the packet ones I usually buy. Oh, look at that. Almost a little bit too well done. So we'll pop them up there. They're giant cookies. I may have put a little bit too much dough on there. But anyway, I think they're going to taste great because we did cook them with love. So we'll see. We're going to find somebody to give a taste test with them and see what they think. Okay, so here we are. We've made our love cookies. We're out here. We're going to deliver one because we want to show our love in action. So we're going to take one into Mrs. DeLonghi and um, see if she likes cookies. She's the lucky first tryer of these awesome cookies. Let's go. Hello, Mrs. DeLonghi. Good 
morning. How are you today, Chappy Kelly? Great. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. So this week on Chapel, we've been talking about love. Yes. But not just love in our words, love in our actions. And we bake some love cookies. So we wanted to make a special delivery to you. Oh, thank you so much. Because we love you. So we wanted to do something kind. Thank you so much. How did you know that I didn't bring anything for morning tea? I don't know how I knew that. Oh, lovely. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I'm to enjoy it. Good. And so, can I just, can this be a project for you this week, guys? Just think about ways that you can bless other people, show love in action, make some cookies for someone, make a meal for someone, do an extra job that you're not asked to do, contact somebody and encourage them. Remember that there's nothing that you can do to make God love you any more or any less than he already does. He just loves you full stop.